Hello, hello, welcome back to Leaky Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic and welcome back to another Mod Monday. Uh, guys, we have amazing community. You need to go and check out all the mods that came out in the last seven days. Check out all the mods that came out all together. We have thousands and thousands of beautiful mods. These are just eight mods that caught my eye. There's no preference treatment here, especially maps. There's a lot of beautiful maps, but so please go and check them out. Old Russian village pack houses by Russian drunk fox. A collection of residential buildings, the prototype of which were real old buildings located in different regions of Russia. I tried to make them as similar to the original ones in the game editor allows. Thanks for the co uh, comrades for who made the models in the editor. Uh, for them, this mod will not be uh, will not be taking place. In the collection, you have six buildings, five inhabitants. You have six, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and thirty inhabitants. More or less around six buildings for each. Uh, buildings without collisions. They are required heating um, if you would like to work you have yara, yara yara description there now this is old Russian village pack by drunk uh, Russian drunk Fox this is just the houses like mentioned before uh, I will go and inspect some of these models as you can see here uh, they're really really beautiful and they're, they're classic as far as I did my research on all the Russian construction all the Russian houses uh, it, it's perfect. It's really, really beautiful. I have no idea what's the white roof uh, made of. Would that be uh, tiles or something? I'm not sure. And there's a little bit of a texture issue I can see here from the rooftop when you angle it like this. Probably it's not, it's not uh, easy to make them fit together perfectly. But when you when you go and angle yourself on the roof, you can see through the house a little bit the grass. But other than that, the buildings are absolutely perfect, especially the wooden ones. I love those. Uh, the most of course they have decent capacity some of them up to 30 people and back in the day this definitely would fit uh, 30 people in these kind of houses houses were like <laughs> a really important thing right so uh, you can find there is um, 35 different models of, uh, of the houses uh, the smallest ones would have up to five inhabitants uh, the bigger ones would have 10, 15, 20, and 30, 25 and 30 inhabitants. Now, how much do they cost? How do they compare to vanilla ones? The vanilla ones, the smallest ones, I think they're going to be more expensive. These vanilla houses over here that you're going to find, they're, whoa, 5,000? Okay, I missed that part. This is 6,000 rubles for a house. That's a lot. Uh, that's not cheap. So five is up to seven thousand. Wow. Okay, this is quite pricey, which is quite quite realistic. This is really nice to see because we can definitely say that this is not a cheaty mod. Thirty people for seven thousand. We can easily compare for seven thousand rubles. We can easily compare the smallest houses here. Twelve would be three thousand six hundred. But you can see the apartment buildings for um, three thirty three people is three thousand eight hundred. So definitely definitely uh, realistic price. I don't even think that the smallest houses go over 7,000. Eh, here we go. There's one 7,000, but that's kind of more exemption than a rule. And the, the bigger ones would go up to 15,000. So the biggest buildings we have in the game are quite, quite big compared to um, to these buildings and much cheaper. So this is, this is quite a pricey, quite expensive and quite realistic. Link in the description of the video. UK Mid-Rise Council Flats by Monotone. Uh, British mid-rise mid council flats from the 1960s based on a real building in the Midlands from 1961 houses 148 workers comfortably at 90% quality. Wow, this is a beautiful, beautiful model. This is kind of uh, fits perfectly with Chris's uh, council flats. Uh, they are really, really beautiful buildings. As you can see here, 148 uh, people with 90% quality of the flats and uh, definitely definitely would fit if you want to continue building your own uh, UK council flats it does have two road connections which I'm kind of against 
against because I don't like when buildings have road connections. Most of them wouldn't have only pedestrian ones, but of course this is uh, this is due to quality of the construction of the of the modders' opinion on this. Um, in this case, this is really really beautiful building, and I will be using it myself. You can see tar roof. Uh, this one would be. Was it a membrane? I forgot what's the name of this material. At least the color seems to be like, like so. Anyway, so uh, if we go to the mod section, if we see here 12,000, 13,448 people, we're going to go real quickly and compare this. 148 people, 13,000. If we go to vanilla buildings, that would be on the large side. 138 people here, 9,000. So these ones are a little bit more expensive. And of course, these are more expensive. So this is definitely not a cheaty mod. It's more expensive than vanilla ones so if you want to make your city look nice with these buildings you're gonna pay more than in vanilla buildings link in the description of the video Robs 074 and radio station Ra Robs is back a regional radio station based on a real building in Wroclaw Poland employs 70 workers with basic education and 35 actors now this is classic Robs really really beautiful building as you can see here uh, internal yard also really beautifully shaped modeled quite quite realistic of course it comes with a full set of skins that you can change in every way you wish to do so wow this is a beautiful one actually Right, anyway, anyway, so how does it compare to vanilla building? Vanilla building would be, uh, this one would be 131,000, 132,000, uh, 70 workers, 35 actors. So if we go to our vanilla buildings and we find that TV station, that would be a radio station, we're gonna go and find radio station then, vanilla radio station is three times the price, it does employ a little bit more people, uh, comparable to price, the size wise, you can see that it's much much bigger, at least in my book this is quite realistic as Rob's usually makes them, link in the description. Mr. Robs 074 times 2. Television tower based on a real building in Loveland, Poland works as a monument increased loyalty by 2% in a radius of 2 kilometers. 2 kilometers. Wow, this is this is quite large. This is actually quite nice. This would be, I believe, one of the bigger ones in the game. Let's compare the price first and then we're going to talk about it. So you can see here 64,000. That is definitely pricey. 2%, it's not a lot. 2%, we have 4.5, I believe, with a big red star. Um, and that one has a range, 495 meters. But let me confirm this uh, in a second. 64,000. So monument worth, worth 64,000. If we go to our monument section and see the vanilla one, like I mentioned, it's 5.2 actually, even a little bit more. And 415 meters. So Rops's monument has only 2% increase in loyalty, but it has up to five times uh, longer distance. This is quite, quite interesting. I'm wondering how this is going to affect uh, people in the city. It has a huge, huge range, which is really beautiful, really nice. Uh, price wise, it is more expensive than most of the buildings, most of the monuments we have, if not all of them. Definitely, definitely realistic in my book. But if you want to read more about this, you have a link in the description of the video. Marius and old power station, 19th century. Old power plant, which provides 2.1 megawatts, uh, employing 25 people. Coal can be unloaded from the truck or uh, as a modernity using conveyor link. Two medium voltage connections. Lots of pollution, no filters, but not too much coal consumption. Uh, this tiny uh, old power plant power station made of bricks and steel boilers was probably the first power facility in the region built to provide electricity to some lost mine for a little town center in the last years of the 19th century made in the game building editor with some textures packs needed to be subscribed to right i have everything i subscribe to most of the buildings so you have everything in the link there's five different mediterranean elements building editor elements yada 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 stalinkas prefab elements and so on but uh, in the end you get a really really beautiful station now i'm gonna assume that this is transformer station here and that our power connections are exactly there oh this is gonna look perfect this is gonna look quite nice let's see how it looks when we build it up Ooh, fits nice 
This is beautiful, beautiful. What about conveyor belts? There were mentions of conveyor belts. So you have one conveyor belt entrance here, um, right? Yeah, this is where the trucks will unload as well. So you can build a conveyor belt. Let's try to test this one out as well. So if you build conveyor belt, it is quite low, actually. This is quite realistic because if you build this kind of conveyor belt going in there directly, you would go put it where the uh, truck would unload. This is this is nice. This is really, really nice. Now, this is a really small power plant, like, like it was mentioned, it's 2.1 um, kilowatts. I think it can't really be compared to vanilla, as long as it has price, any price, that would be quite nice. But 73,000, 74,000 for this beautiful building, it does definitely have, it's, it's much cheaper, but it has extremely low amount of production. So if you have a vanilla one, this one costs uh, three and a half times more but it does produce 10 times more electricity so definitely definitely realistic price if you want something old and nice looking definitely check out this power plant in the description rail unloading station by benser uh, there's a description in russian in English, railway station is for unloading bark bulk cargo based on vanilla open storage for conveyor connections to rail tracks right so this is the station so let me just demonstrate we have two entrances road wise on each side so you can easily connect it for firefighting purposes of course we have conveyor connections as well there's four of them of course there's also a railroad connection two of them and it looks really really nice quite realistic now compared to vanilla it is a little bit cheaper but but um, this vanilla one is big steel construction, where this one is some metal and a little bit of conveyor belt. The only question I have, and this is the information we cannot get in the game, is how fast it is in unloading. Some of the models, some of the mods in the game, they have instant unloading of cargo. Some of them uh, are really fast, like twice the speed of vanilla ones. Some of them are slower, like half the speed of vanilla one. I will ask in the comments, Benzer, in the comments of the mod, in the workshop uh, what is the speed of this and uh, if i find out i'm gonna inform you guys about this anyway uh price let's just check this i said it's uh, four times cheaper so we have the rail unload station that will be 10,671 if we want to build it around here and the vanilla one would be 46 and a half thousand so it is around four times more uh, cheaper more affordable than vanilla one but for more details you can check the link in the description of the video and does get thumbs up and approval for leaky right butchering time nega buzz kezoi um sorry if i'm butchering your name No, oh, I tried to read it in backwards. I'm not really sure if this is the correct um, the pronunciation of the name. So well, let's leave it there. You have a link in the description. This is Polish State Railways Wagon Pack 2.0. Uh, PKP Wagon Pack 2.0 by, uh, as previously mentioned, modeling, UV mapping, texturing. Big thanks to other people there listed i'm gonna please go and check out the link in the description of the video you have it doesn't show tell us what the list of the vehicles is but i found some of them well i found all of them but some of them i'm gonna pre be presenting here these are old wagons some of them remind me of the uh railroad wagons we had in the balkans this is really really beautiful stuff some of them are double deckers i will pause this for a second and just mention that i intentionally arranged these these wagons should work uh together these Three wagons should be beginning middle and the end i put it in the op opposite direction just to show you how this works i will unpause this i will go and uh, re uh, do the train for these big wagons while we wait for the locomotive to come to the storage area here i will just show you where you can find these wagons if you go to passenger wagons there's whole whole poop load of them you can see here pkp models some of them are from here some of them are from before uh, as you can see here these models if you arrange them properly like you should you will get this kind of nice construction nice setup of the trains i will let you uh, i will show you how this looks like when the wagons are out you can see how much smoother these wagons now are uh, beginning and the end so you can really build up your train these are of course um, on two levels, wagons on two levels. They have really nice decals, PKP being Polske Koleje, something Pol 
to something something anyway pkp mod polish uh, railroads this is only 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 for passenger transport but there's a lot of a lot of them you can see some of them over here they are compared to vanilla they are more or less the same price so quite realistic price wise you have a lot of a lot of these models but you're gonna have to go and check out for yourself all everything is in the link in the description some of the pictures are there but there's more models here than there are photos in the mod description anyway link in the description of the video for more details millet and d and dawn valley rail and road only road and rail only fantasy version of d and dawn valleys in aberdeenshire scotland a map of two rivers which are not big enough for ships more as an obstacles to work around uh, their series of small villages no significant industry some broken rail infrastructure notes rivers are deep the only way i could get them to be on the map map is not realistic or accurate river roads and settlements placed all rough uh, other mods you have a link there okay so i'll tell you what i think about this map it's absolute no it's quite nice uh, this is a really really nice map it does have some kind of a scottish feel to it with the big sharp mountains a lot of uh, exposed rocks and of course big rivers with canyons really really beautiful stuff now railroads uh there's a little bit of criticism from my on my part regarding these because railroads are quite um they're just straight and then just disappear for example this is nice these railroads are nice uh are they following they are following the natural contours of the terrain natural natural topography which i really really like but for some reason they disappear uh usually like toppers made it if it's after the world war or something then uh, they would be more constructed uh they would be more constructed and then demolished can we make this look a little bit nicer let me show you what i mean so uh usually how i would expect them to be wh why are they why are railroads um uh, so separated from each other if you uh, I, I believe toppers did it like this for example if you uh, create uh if you create a bomb hole so literally like where the bomb dropped and created a crater this would look a little bit nicer and more realistic why the railroad is gone uh, in this case they are just disappearing in the middle of nowhere i have no idea why this is the only criticism i have of the map other than that map is absolutely beautiful uh it has canyons it has challenges there's there's no flat grounds there's like flat flat forget about it there's no flat grounds anywhere so it's all red like all red it's a lot of red and you have even when you have flat grounds they do have decent inclines they're going it's going to be a little bit more challenging for you to build the cities now the flattest ground i found was here where i put the mod monday models everything else is going to be quite tricky to exploit now the more important part what's with the resources you can see that it's quite the resources are everywhere they're everywhere but you can can't really build a mine here a proper mine for let's say coal I, i'll demonstrate this so if we go and try to build a mine here you i don't believe you're gonna get more than a few percent let me just real quickly check this out so we have iron mine we need the resources here and we need coal you see this like this is the best you can get from these we can try to level this area we can get 57 percent and i believe this is the highest level of quality coal you will find on this map now there's a lot of coal air coal is everywhere but you're not gonna get more than this iron wise ah, it's a little bit it's a little bit easier you might get a little bit more resources here i'm gonna demonstrate this as well if we go to iron mining and you can see here's up to 60 percent but you won't be able to build a decent industry around here i mean like you won't be able to build several mines in line now oil wise this is a little bit more this is more decent as per scotland's oil reserves definitely a little bit more decent now uranium it's kind of the same and uh, uranium is quite plentiful i have to say compared to other maps and the bauxite uh, as well the quality again i you don't really have high quality bauxite everywhere because mines are smaller so technically you get all the quality you want but um, uh, coal wise i would say the coal is quite the trickiest one to get you won't get high 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 quality coal here you know 100 percent 90 percent or so 
Other than that, you have uh, several border crossings, and for some reason, NATO countries have uh, next to perfect railroad connections. As you can see here, we have a border with NATO, and the railroad connections goes from one border crossing to the other one easily. Um, on the other hand, roads are perfect, are absolutely beautiful. Bridges on this map, they're all wooden as far as I saw them. Uh, there's no concrete bridges and they fit on the map perfectly. I just love looking through this map and just going around absolutely beautiful. Uh, roundabout waiting to be built <laughs> around here. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna say this is definitely my favorite map this mod Monday and this is my favorite mod this mod Monday because map is absolutely beautiful and challenging and I will probably play on this map. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do let's plays on this or in private time but definitely I'm gonna be playing on this map. Wait, I really hope you guys enjoyed this Mod Monday. If you did, don't forget to press the like button. If you didn't, you have a nasty comment that you can leave in the comment section. Feel free to do so. Like, subscribe, not notification bell, ring it, comment section, hit it. And if you want to support the channel, you have the description of the video. Happy Monday, guys, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.